So a few minutes ago, I went on Google and I typed 50 random questions. These 50 random questions are what came up. So these 50 random questions are what I'm going to answer. Let's get started. Number one, what was the first thing you Googled? I'm an idiot. What's the last thing you Googled? <laughs> last thing I Googled was 50 random questions. Number two, you have to listen to these songs, colon. Okay, well, You and I by Paris, Joy by Ellie Goulding, Explosions by Ellie Goulding, Ghosts by Paris, Smoke by Paris, those are just the top five for you. Number three, do you chew on your straws? Yes, I chew on my straws. I chew on my straws with this sharp-ass canine. Number four, have you ever been awake for 48 hours straight? Uh, not straight. I probably had like an hour of sleep somewhere thrown in there. Number five, will you get married and do you see, do you see yourself married in the next five years? Yes, I'm getting married. I'm getting married. Number six, if you could move somewhere else, would you? Yeah, I like moving. I like traveling, so probably. Number seven, read on a Kindle or paperback book? Paperback book. There's nothing like smelling pages in an old book. Number eight, if money was no object, what would you do all day? I'd watch YouTube videos and I would play video games such as ESO, Grand Theft Auto, and uh, stuff like that. Zelda maybe. Number nine, university or life experience, which do you feel best prepares you for life? Life experiences because there's nothing like doing things yourself, and I just don't like college. So, number 10, what is one thing that should be taught in school that isn't already? I think, um, like, ancestry should be a thing, a class that you could take and you can learn your family's history. I think that's pretty cool. Number 11, if you could go back in time, what year would you travel to? I would travel to 2012 so I could relive Jeremy and I's relationship. I enjoy it. It's great. Okay. Moving on. This is not the notebook. When you have 30 minutes to pass of free time, what do you do? I sing. Or I watch YouTube videos. Oh. 13. What is the worst or best gift you've ever given or received? The best gift I've ever received is this right here. Look how shiny. The worst gift I've ever received. <laughs> My ex, a long time ago, on Valentine's Day, he had a little heart box of chocolates, right? He probably got that from someone, because you know, he was like that. All of them were eaten except for like two, and they, the two that were in there were still half eaten, but he gave me those. That's all I got for Valentine's Day from him. What was the first thing you bought with your own money? Probably hair dye. 15. What would your parents be surprised to learn about you? Well, they, they know I want tattoos. They know I have a nose ring. Um, I don't really do anything crazy for real, so keep it pretty real. Number 16, apologize or ask permission. Hmm, that's very situational. Um, I guess it really just depends on what what the deal is because if it's something really crazy I think you should probably ask first because the most important thing you can do in a relationship is actually give a about the other person's opinion. Let's see, number 17, beach vacation or European vacation? European vacation. I just want to experience a bunch of things. Um, personally, I've lived near the beach my whole life. It's not a fantastic beach that I lived by when I was in Virginia, but still, I want to go to Europe. Number 18, what is the ideal number of people to have over on a Friday night? Me. Number 19, who is a non-politician you wish would run for office? Dwight Schrute. Number 20, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Okay, let's, let's put it this way. 
I want to talk to animals, and I want them to talk to me, and I want to be able to uh, make some kind of world where animals can be equally humans. Number 21. What do you usually think about right before falling asleep? Damn it, I gotta go to work tomorrow. 22. Ever been addicted to an iOS Android game? Which one? I used to be addicted to Clash of Clans, or Words with Friends, or Draw Something. Those were those were some good games. Number 23. List five goals on your life's to-do list. I want to travel somewhere somewhat crazy. I want to get married. I want to have kids. Uh, let's see. I want to make YouTube a career. That's actually like very important to me. And I want to be a positive influence to people in my life. Number 24, if you had to change your name, what would you change it to? I love the name Evelina. It's beautiful. Number 25, what is one thing you will never do again? <laughs> I would never just trust someone without having a reason to trust them. Trust no one. Number 26, what words of wisdom would you pass on to your childhood self? Childhood self. Once again. Trust no one. 27, if you could speak another language, which would it be and why? That's a good question. Um, uh, I guess Spanish because I feel like that's the most beneficial in the United States because there's so many people here that speak Spanish. Um, sometimes you can't find the English instructions on things, so if I knew Spanish, I could not have to worry about finding the English instructions. <laughs> uh, 28. If you were head of a major TV station for one day, what would you play? I wouldn't play TV shows, I would play movies such as Willy Wonka, Napoleon Dynamite, and anything of that nature that's just kind of like weird and crazy. Oh, and Alice in Wonderland, the one where, uh, I don't remember her name, but the girl that plays Deb in Napoleon Dynamite, she's, she's Alice. I play that movie too. Number 29, which one of your friends would make the best U.S. president and why? <laughs> None, let's just be real, y'all all crazy. A 30, what's your favorite holiday and why? Christmas because of the joy that it brings. 31. How would you survive a zombie apocalypse? I would just become a zombie myself. Yes, it would be freaking awesome to fight zombies and uh, be a badass and survive and whatnot, but it's not worth it to me to live in such a miserable world. 32. In what ways are you the same as your childhood self? I'm still really, really weird. 33. If you could master one skill you don't have right now, what would it be? Fitness. Fitness is a skill. 34. What was your dream job growing up? I wanted to be a veterinarian. 35. If you could live forever, how would you spend eternity? Just doing what I want to do every single day. Just do what I want, not give a crap what people think. 36. If you could bring one musician back from the dead, who would it be and why? Whitney Houston. Because she has a beautiful voice and it was just pure talent, you know? 37. What was the last picture you took with your phone? There you go. 38. What kind of sickness have you lied about so you wouldn't go into work? I just can't stop throwing up. I just can't. 39. What was the last lie you told? Here's one. I'm not hungry. 40. What is your perfect pizza? My perfect, perfect pizza? pizza? Let me... Okay. Y'all are gonna think I'm so nasty. My perfect pizza would have a nice hand-tossed crust garlic butter around the sides. Okay, y'all are agreeing so far, but wait. <laughs> Some uh, like really good sweet crushed tomato sauce with fresh mozzarella, calamata olives, 
sprinkled all over that with some uh, artichokes maybe, some fresh basil. You know, that actually sounds really good and I don't think you guys would hate it after all. I might actually put some uh, like Italian sausage flavored tempeh on it. That'd be really good too. Number 41. What question do you hate to answer? Why are you, Why are pescatarian? you pescatarian? Why are you Why vegetarian? Are you Why are you, Why are you vegan? vegan? What keys on a keyboard do you not use? The ones with like the complicated operations. I don't know what all that is. 43. Who would you most like to be stuck in an elevator with? Jeremy, of course! 44. Is there anything purple within 10 feet of you? What is it? No, there's not anything purple. Darn. Number 45. When was the last time you ran slash went for a jog? Probably a month ago. Number 46. Have you been to the movies in the last five days? No, unfortunately not. Number 47. What after school activities did you do in high school? Chorus. Number 48. What ice cream flavors do you love slash hate? I love cotton candy ice cream. It's my absolutely, absolutely favorite. <laughs> my God, what's wrong with me right now? If there is a flavor of ice cream that I would never try, it would be bacon flavored ice cream. That just sounds disgusting. Number 49, what is your secret recipe? You know, I don't really have one anymore. I can't remember. <laughs> used to be a snickerdoodle recipe and I used to be able to make it without looking at measurements and whatnot, but no, I don't remember it anymore, sorry. And number 50, what channels do you have subscribed on YouTube? I'll just start with my tops. I'm not gonna name all of them because there's like about 50. I like Whaley, Wally TV, PewDiePie, Sophia Chang, uh, Evelina, um, let's see, Kalel, Monami Frost, Barton Geo, Tiffin Case, JK Party, JK Film, uh, BuzzFeed, because sometimes when I'm really bored I watch BuzzFeed. The, the, those are like the top ones that I can remember right now. And thank you guys so much for watching, and if you would like to subscribe to me, I'll provide a little button right here for you. And here's some of my older videos. And see you 